Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to organize photos uh, with Photos app on Windows 10. Now this one's been requested by a fair few people and it is pretty a basic video, but I just wanted to cover it just so that I can answer this question for people and show people how to do it. So go to the search box and type uh, photos in here, or you may see the photos app here. Now, if you haven't changed your photos app to another one, then you should see something looking like this. Now, these will be all of the images and photos on your PC, and they were listed as collection inside this area here under date taken in the collections area. And it can be quite a mess and unorganized. So if you want to organize these, it's very simple and quick and easy to do inside the photos app uh, by using uh, the albums feature. So first off, highlight the ones with the ticks in the box on which ones you want to put into a category or some sort of album, which will help you organize your photos a lot better. Up the top right hand side here, you can add to, you can share, you can print, you can copy and you can delete and also you can re create new video. Here you can create a new album uh, by going to this section here or you can create a new video with music. The Windows 10 app will take care of all this for you. You can even add more photos to existing projects that you have or you can create new ones. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go to albums here. So I'm going to click on albums up the top left hand side here. You can see uh, Microsoft has already created one for me. This is just to give you an idea of basically how you can create little movie slideshows. And I've showed you how to do that in a previous video. But in this one, I wanted to concentrate on albums and how you can organize all of your photos. So whether you've got weddings, parties, uh, holidays and stuff like that. So let's just go here and select all of these animals here. And what I'm going to do is click on uh, the button up the top where it says create. Now these can be a mixture of types of files that you want to do or you can just literally make them whatever you like you can see here it will automatically put them into a nice little slideshow for you and I've showed you in previous videos how you can create these and add music to them and also how you can create them into videos as well now you want to give this album a name so click on the album name and call it whatever you like so we could just call this say for instance animals just for this video but you can call it something more memorable if it's say for instance a trip to the zoo or whatever it is that you've done with your photos. So you can see there, they're all done. And obviously you're gonna have more photos than five. But you can also add more photos at a later date by clicking add photos. And you can add more photos to the animals folder. You can create slideshows and you can also remove them from your selection and you can also share them. Now also you can create the slideshows which will uh, obviously be able to add music titles and other types of text to your images and you can also add a uh, sort of slideshow effects to those as well and I've showed you how to do that in a previous video this one is about organization and basically organizing your photos but you'll see something like this which I showed you before which is your storyboard and you can add in uh, a card and you can add in duration uh, also motion 3d effects filters all sorts of effects to your images. Now, if you haven't seen that video, then I'll try and leave a link in the video description to that video because it's quite an important one and it shows you how to create cool little effects with your photo albums. And you can see here now we've got a photo album called Animals. And this means that it's easy to find all photos rather than see all of the photos in one big place like collections here. So next, create another album called Planes or something like that. So I'm just going to basically select all these planes and you can put them into a selection of your choice. I'm going to say, for instance, a plane show or something like that. And it will just remind me of uh, where that photo was taken and what event it was at. So it just makes it a lot more easier to find these uh, things. So let me just put something like this in here. Now, of course, you're going to have more photos and more images inside here. And you can do other things like create uh, slideshows and stuff like that so let me click on the slideshow button here and just quickly show you and this will be a slideshow on your computer and you can basically view these on your computer and it will look something like this now you can you can add more effects to these and filters and music and other stuff which i've covered before i just wanted to quickly show you the slideshow feature there as well and also go here let me just create one more little album for you and we're just going to do these little cars here and just add these uh, to the effect here so you can see one more time and then I'll show you some other features of this uh, application.
So in here we can do, say for instance, car show. Let me just quickly put that capital S. There we go. And then we can go back and this basically will create a nice image for us. And a nice little slideshow. You can always create little mini videos for yourself with some music. I've muted the music because of copyright reasons, but also you can create text and titles on there as well. And you can add more photos to your storyboard and make it as big or small as you like by adding the duration, some text and motion and stuff like that. So very, very cool feature, which probably a lot of people don't actually use and probably people are, are actually turning it off. So once you get used to it, it is quite a powerful little application and it is built into Windows 10 and it's free to use. You can see here, I can put in a folder called wallpapers as well and whatever it is you want to do. And I've got some other folders up there which you can go to folders, video editor and people. I've turned those features off. If you want to remove them, you can go over to here and click remove and this will remove the album from your selection. Now, if you remove the photos from here, this will actually remove them from your computer. So be very careful if you are removing them from the collections area. So if you're removing them from the albums, it's fine. It will leave the images on your system. But if you go and delete them from here, and I'll say delete these files, it will delete them from the collection and also from the computer. So don't get those confused with the two albums. It's just removing the album collections. It's removing the actual files. And I'll show you here where I had these files stored, you'll see the images are now gone and we can remove this as well. So don't remove them from the collection if you want them to stay on the PC. As you can see here, they have been removed from this folder. Now these are removed from the computer, but they do get removed and put into the recycle bin. So you can restore them from the recycle bin back to the folder if you've made a mistake. So don't panic unless you've got some sort of weird setup. You can also change uh, the view to large, medium, and also uh, small here. And basically it shows you all of them and you can do it that way. Depending on your eyesight, some people like to have the bigger view. You also got the settings pane here where you can go into settings and slideshow and other areas here. And you can also add more folders inside here for your collections. So if you've got those folders and they're on a special location or another drive, you can actually locate those by adding them in inside this settings area here and also by default you'll see it is selected the pictures area and it's also select selected the onedrive pictures so if you wanted to add in say for instance something else you could do if you want to remove that you can quite easily remove that location there and add your own locations depending on how you want to set yours up viewing and editing you can see here that it's linked and it's also turning off duplicates and things like that you can pretty much set yours up how you like uh, with your particular PC, it depends on how you like it. You've also got your zoom in and out and appearance. You can see here favorites, single photo, recent photos, and you can also set the mode to light or dark mode and also use system settings depending on how you want to set yours as well. Enable automatic uh, presented albums, that's turned on. That's when you finished creating your albums, it will automatically give you a little slideshow and show you that you can do that as well. And notifications as well as their indexing is turned off by default. If you want to enable that, you can literally turn that on as well. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Just a pretty basic video, but I just wanted to cover that. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.